Good morning ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about lesson number 44, my favorite type of meal. Okay, let's start. My favorite food is fast food. It saves a lot of time. I don't care for fancy dinners. I think people should forget about wasting time and money on expensive food. It really doesn't matter if you eat expensive food or fast food as long as the food is nutritious. Lesson 45, beautiful hand note. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will, you will have a very nice time here in Vietnam. There are many beautiful views, cultural, historical styles, and a variety of delicious foods for you to enjoy. Vietnam is a great place to do business. Vietnam is a wonderful place for vacation. I hope you will fall in love with Vietnam. I believe Vietnam is a fantastic place to visit and marvelous, marvelous place to live. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. I hope you will visit Vietnam again and again. Lesson 46, Farewell Speech, I Who Miss Vietnam Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sad that this speech is my farewell speech. Happy times always part too quickly. My two years stay in Vietnam will come soon and soon. I will miss you. I will miss my students. I will miss all my friends. I will miss Vietnam and of course, I will miss Vietnamese food. I will come back to Vietnam as soon as I can. Thank you for making my stay a wonderful experience. Thank you for your hospitality. Most of all, thank you for your admire friendship. Lesson 47, why exercise is important. Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about exercise. More and more and more, and more people ask them to realize the value of exercise. Exercise is the only way to have a healthy body and healthy mind. Exercise is the only way to lose weight. There are many kinds of exercise. It is easy to choose one that suits you. The important thing to remember is that exercise needs to be a part of your daily life. Please take care of your body and start an exercise program today. Physical health and mental health can both be improved with regular exercise. See the days to the moment, stay conscious of your health. Exercise for a longer, healthier life. Thanks for your attention. Lesson 48 My wishes. Ladies and gentlemen, I have many wishes. I wish people all over the world would love each other more. I wish people would stop wasting energy. I wish people would be less selfish. I wish people would have wish happy feelings more freely and not keep their emotions shut up inside. I wish that people could fight curious for cancer and AIDS. In short, I wish that the world could be a better place. Thank you for letting me share all my wishes with you. Lesson 49, The Dangers of TV Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about television and how dangerous it is, it is for children. Children today watch too much television. Television is harmful to developing minds. Children usually watch far more television than their parents realize. Children should always watch television when there is an educational program showing or on special occasions. It is a terrible hub to just casually turn on the television and leave it on for hours at a time. Remember when you switch on the television, you are switching off your, uh, switch off your child's mind, make wide disease and limit your children's terms in time. Lesson 50, the three most important piece of advice. Ladies and gentlemen, there are three things I want to talk about today. The first thing is, think before you speak. Say positive things, do not other people with words. The second thing is, treasure every breath. Life is precious, we shouldn't take anything for granted. We must be thankful for every breath. The third thing is, nothing is impossible. If you think you can, you can. Never doubt yourself. You can do anything. These three things have helped me throughout my life. Thank you. Lesson 51 Parents are the most important teachers. Our fathers and mothers are as other children for teachers. What they say and what they do determine whether children will be successful or not. Fathers and mothers should be neither to treat nor to indulge. It's hard to be a good parent. That's why fathers and mothers uh, should always study together the best way to raise a child. Lesson 52 Waiting Properly. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to help you learn some of the most common greetings in English. Of course, they're the basic hello. There are so many questions such as how are you, how are you doing, how's everything, how's it going. It, all of these greetings are informal and very common in American English. In British English, it is more common to hear how do you do. If you are confused by all this information, don't worry. You can always just say hi, a happy smile and a confident hi with friends anywhere you go. 
Don't worry, just open the mouth and practice. You can master English. Have fun. Lesson 53 Turn rights from wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the, the importance of knowing rights from wrong. It is important to always try to do the right thing. Always the, to always do the right thing. Martin Luther King said the time is always right to do the right thing. These words are really true. You should always, always choose to do the right thing, even if it is harder than the wrong thing. You should also encourage everyone around you to do the right thing. Be honest, be fair, be kind. The right thing to do is always very simple to understand, but sometimes very hard to do. Let's help each other, remind each other, and encourage each other to do the right thing. Lesson 54, Spread of Motherland. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm from Vietnam. I'm Vietnam. I'm proud of my country and I'm proud of being Vietnamese. Vietnam has changed tremendously in the past 20 years. Vietnam has become a member of the world community. Vietnam is changing every day. Vietnamese people are embarrassing changes. Vietnamese people are also facing many challenges now. If we are eager to learn from the world, I am here today uh, to learn from you. I'm sure we will learn very much from each other. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for giving me the chance to speak to you today. Lesson 55, the importance of work. Ladies and gentlemen, today I will talk about jobs. If you want to succeed, you must fall in love with your job. You must enjoy your job. If you don't change your attitude and just think of your job as a burden, you are not going to do any job well. Every job is important. No matter how small it may be, every job can teach you something. Every job can contribute to society. Be proud of job. Do it well. Learn to enjoy the job and you will enjoy the life much more. Remember, if you enjoy the job, you will never work a day in your life. That's all, bomb lesson. See you in my next video. Bye bye.